is an armed robbery suspect who stole a Rockland police cruiser took off from a standoff with police. This is new video on your left, just into the newsroom. Police tell us that suspect has now been stopped again by the BJ's gas station on the Bergen Parkway in Quincy and is now surrounded by police. The ramps to Bergen Parkway from Route 3 and 93 are closed in both directions, and the commuter rail and the red line have both been shut down. The MBTA says red line service is suspended between Braintree and Wollaston for at least as long as it takes to get this situation under control. WBC's Lisa Greshi is live along Bergen Parkway near that gas station where the suspect has stopped. Lisa, tell us what you're seeing as of right now. Liam, we are as close as police would let us get to. This is Liberty Street. Police have it entirely blocked off, as you can see. They tell us it's not safe right now to be any closer to the scene. We know this is an armed robbery suspect who stole a Rockland cruiser. He was first stopped by, Ber uh, by Bergen Parkway and refused to get out of the car there. There he was surrounded by state police and Quincy police. Then the suspect sped off again, close to where we are right now by the BJ's gas station. Police are currently trying to negotiate with him. Again, this entire area is very much blocked off. Police telling us we really can't get much closer to the scene because it's just not safe right now, Liam. Well, and Lisa, we do know that a Weymouth police cruiser, in fact, was damaged in the pursuit of this suspect down Route 3. We know the officer in that cruiser was not hurt. Do we know how this all began? Our I-team sources says the suspect is believed to be an armed robbery suspect, Liam, and then stole the Rockland police cruiser, and he's believed also, those same I-team sources say, he's believed to have a gun with him. Believed to have committed an armed robbery at some point this morning, and Lisa, it, it occurs to me that a lot of these cruisers, not all of them, but a lot of these cruisers have long guns in them. Do we know whether or not this Rockland cruiser might have one of those inside. That is also what I-team sources are saying, Liam, that he may have one in that cruiser with him. And they're trying to negotiate with him right now as he has stopped once more again this morning. The, um, a lot of these cruisers have kill switches in them where they could somehow be remotely stopped if someone were to get inside and take it, as we've seen this morning. Apparently, this cruiser does not have one of those because the suspect has gotten away from police more than once. Yes, yeah, so far twice, Liam, he has been able to drive away and right now he's stopped once more. Hopefully, cops are hopeful that this will be the last time that he's stopped. And I want to reiterate that the, the long gun that that is in this Rockland cruiser, it's locked in the back. Police believe that the suspect probably does not have access to it. What about the radio communication? Because, again, a lot of these cruisers, Lisa, the police are able to communicate through police radio channels. Do we know if this suspect is potentially listening in to police communication and trying to figure out a way around police as a result of that? Liam, that's also a concern right now. I-team sources say that police may be using another radio channel to communicate so he doesn't listen to them and doesn't have that capability to do so. All right, Lisa Greshi, live there on the scene along the Bergen Parkway in Quincy. We want to back you up a little bit and just set the facts again, the timeline as we know it as of right now. I-team sources tell us that this suspect was involved in an armed robbery at a convenience store this morning and was then able to steal a Rockland police cruiser, lead police on a chase down Route 3 through several cities and towns, we know that a Weymouth police cruiser was damaged at some point during that pursuit, but the officer inside that Weymouth cruiser is okay. The suspect was then stopped by police, and there was a massive police presence with Massachusetts State Police, Quincy, Weymouth, Braintree, Rockland Police all involved. You can see this is actually that scene where they had the suspect stopped on the Bergen Parkway off-ramp coming off of Route 3. The suspect was surrounded, but at some point was able to get through the barricade, proceed down the Bergen Parkway, and then was stopped again a short time later, right outside of the BJ's gas station that's right along the Bergen Parkway there in Quincy. That suspect is now surrounded. We know that Massachusetts uh, SWAT is there. They have negotiators talking with this suspect, trying to figure out a peaceful 
solution to this. And we do have a witness to all of this chaos. We want to listen into that right now. He told me to get back and get down. And they they evacuated the um they evacuated the gas station next door. And I mean that, that's about it that I know of. I was listening to a witness from an auto repair shop in Quincy who witnessed uh, some of this this police cruiser, this Rockland police cruiser that has now gone down Route 3 and onto the Bergen Parkway. That cruiser right there that you see coming into the screen, that is the stolen cruiser, which was able to get away from police after they had barricaded the suspect in and then proceeded down the Bergen Parkway and was stopped again and is right now stopped outside of the BJ's gas station on the Bergen Parkway in Quincy. At this point, is refusing to exit the vehicle. And again, to get you up to speed, Massachusetts State Police now negotiating with this suspect, doing what they can to find a peaceful resolution to this situation. We do know that the ramps to the Bergen Parkway from Route 3 and 93 are closed in both directions at this point and have been now for more than an hour as this has unfolded. Of course, the Bergen Parkway is shut down. Liberty Street in Quincy, uh, which runs alongside the Bergen Parkway, that is shut down. And the Red Line and commuter rail service in this area also have been requested to be shut down. We do know that the MBTA has shut down Red Line service between the Braintree Station and Wollaston. So that is where things stand right now. The suspect still inside this Rockland police cruiser. I-team sources tell us that police have been told not to use radio channels, police radio channels to communicate because the suspect is inside a Rockland police cruiser and could theoretically have access, glean some sort of information from those radio channels. And they have told police use alternate means of communication. We've also learned through I-team sources that that Rockland cruiser, they do believe there is a long gun or rifle in the back of the Rockland cruiser, but police believe that it is locked up, that it cannot be accessed, and that is good news. Now, a lot of the uh, information that we are getting right now is from our I-team investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, who's been talking to sources this morning to try to figure out exactly what's going on. I believe we have her on the phone right now. Cheryl, are you there? I am. Hi, Liam. Hi, Cheryl. What do we know as of right now about this suspect and uh, what they are doing, what police are doing to try to get the suspect out of that cruiser? Well, what we know is that police believe that this suspect was involved in an armed robbery earlier this morning in Rockland. So they believe the suspect is armed. Somehow he got into a Rockland police cruiser. Now, most state police cruisers have what's called a kill switch. So they, they can leave those cruisers running while they run into a scene. But to be able to engage that car to move it forward, they have to hit a switch. And it's hidden, so someone wouldn't be able to move a state police cruiser. And this cruiser apparently did not have that. If someone, the suspect in this case, was able to steal the cruiser. Um, from that point on, the chase was on for him. They've stopped him now. This is now the second time. They used stop sticks this time, so the suspect did does have flat tires. Um, so theoretically, he's stopped in a place where they're hopefully negotiators will be able to peacefully end this. And that's what police sources are telling me, that the goal here is to get the suspect to surrender and have a peaceful end to this so that no one is injured, no one is hurt, no shots are fired, and the suspect peacefully surrenders. Uh, we are told, according to my sources, that there is what's called a long gun or a rifle in the vehicle, but that gun is locked. We know that at least one Rockland police cruiser was damaged. Unclear whether or not that police officer has any injuries. Um, but it appears that this has been going on for quite some time, and police are hoping to just wait him out. I mean, the, the goal here is to make sure that this ends peacefully. That's what the intention is on the police end anyway. Cheryl, do we know they initially had this suspect stopped on the Bergen Parkway off-ramp from Route 3? Do we know how he was able to get through that blockade? Is it just that they were trying to give him some space, given that he is armed? 
Well, they're trying to give him some space because what, what they don't want to do is they don't want the situation to escalate. So that's why they brought in negotiators to try to talk to this guy and find out what his state of mind is, try to peacefully you know, speak to him so that they're not escalating the situation. They're trying to de-escalate it. So you know, getting too close to him and having him feel threatened or having him feel like he has no way out other than to shoot his way out, they were trying to avoid that. And in doing that, unfortunately, created an opportunity for him to be able to leave the scene. Um, you know, they now have him stopped again at the BJ's gas station. Um, and now the hope is that they're able to wait him out, have negotiators speak to him, find out how they can get him out peacefully, how they can prevent anyone from getting hurt and just, you know, end the situation. Oh, Cheryl, how he was able to take that Rockland police cruiser. Was there a police officer inside at the time or was this an empty cruiser that he was able to jump into? Well, my sources are telling me that it appears that the cruiser was empty. Um, many times, obviously, when they get to some of these things, police officers, and it's, you know, we can't really second guess how they were, how, how he arrived on a scene of what he believed this officer to be an armed robbery at a convenience store. So apparently, he got out of the vehicle and left the vehicle running. Um, this particular vehicle apparently does not have any kind of mechanism in it that would prevent someone from putting it in gear. And, and taking off with it. Uh, many police cruisers, including the state police, do have that mechanism. Uh, so those cars are not, I think they would be very difficult to steal. You'd have to know where the switch was. Um, and in this case, apparently that wasn't the case and the car was left running. Uh, dangerous situation, unusual situation. I mean, obviously dangerous because the suspect is believed to be armed, obviously dangerous because sources say that uh, this car likely has a long gun or what's called a rifle. They put police use as a rifle that they use for, for serious events that they respond to. Those, those uh, guns are always locked in the back. So the suspect wouldn't have access to that theoretically. Um, but that is, of course, a, a major concern, the fact that this suspect is armed and potentially could have another weapon in the vehicle. So they're trying to be careful here, trying to end this peacefully so that no one gets hurt, no one gets injured, um, and the suspect realizes that he really has nowhere to go. And I think you can see just by the massive police presence with all of these agencies that, you know, it's become very clear that it would be very difficult for this suspect to be able to, to leave this scene. And we do have a breaking update just now. Massachusetts State Police just a moment ago tweeted, suspect still in vehicle has moved vehicle to Bergen Parkway, an area of Quincy Street. Vehicle blocked in by MSP stop team and negotiations ongoing. We will continue to talk to the suspect. We are prepared for a lengthy negotiation.